Yes, thank you. Okay, timer is started and here is the question. Right, so if you have read and understood, kindly begin your station. Okay, <clears throat> I'll just enter the examination hall. I'll wash my hand if there is any sand sanitizer over there. And I'll just, uh, for first, I'll talk to the patient. Hello, I'm Dr. Vishek, one of the surgical candidates here. May I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, I'm Tom, uh, Tom 25 years old, but there won't be any oh. patient. Okay, thank you, Tom. It's nice to meet you here today. Uh, to, from your charts, I have known that you have uh, got some gunshot injury. Are you in very much pain right now? Yes. Okay, uh, should I get you some painkillers? No, that's all right. Uh, you, this okay. is procedural skill station. You yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. I'm going to. Be no yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, today I have been <coughs> asked to perform a I'll get par adequate permission from the patient to <coughs> do a own cleaning for this patient under some anest local anesthesia uh, in the theater. Uh, can I please do, do that? Yes, please. Okay, thank you so much. Before going any further, I'd like to check if there is any x-ray of this patient is available or not to see the wound status if there are any foreign body or pellets over there. Okay. okay, then I'll, <clears throat> I'll, I want to, uh, after this, I want to gather uh, and to check some certain things that uh, if there is any consent, uh, written consent is over there or not, if there is any WHO checklist over there or not. I was, I also want to check if the area is already anesthetized or not. Can you please okay. tell me, sir? Yes, consider. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Then I'll gather some instruments, like I uh, <clears throat> I'll take a, uh, AdSense tissue for safe and uh, I'll take some normal saline with 10 cc syringe and a needle, whiteboard needle. And after that, I'll take some local anesthetic. Uh, I, I, as it is already anesthetized, I'll just uh, take uh, some swabs. And after that, I'll take uh, I'll take a sterile draping and uh, uh, proper personal protective in, uh, equipments for me, like gloves, gowns, caps, masks, and, uh, and the goggles if available. And after gathering all the instruments and everything, I'll just uh, <coughs> switch to the procedure. At first, I'll just wash the area, surrounding area of this wound. And after that, I'll do proper adequate, adequate sterile draping around there. And after that, uh, as a, uh, according to the X-ray, I would like to I would like to start the own cleaning first. I'll take a swab. I will take the adhesive tissue for step and uh, goes uh, with that. I'll not put my hand as there going to be chance of injury from the foreign body to my hand. I'll just uh, do, uh, clean the wound according to the <coughs> clockwise or anti-clockwise manner. And after uh, doing initial cleaning, I'll put some normal saline with the syringe over there to flush the wound to see any evidence, uh, <coughs> any evidence of foreign body, any internal tissue damage over there and see the wound status over there. And after that, I'll uh, inspect the wound with, two, uh, with the first step that uh, and if there is any evidence of uh, foreign body over there, I'll try to remove it. And uh, then I will also look for any deep tissue injury or tendon injury over there. Uh, if there is any, and after that, uh, I'll again flush the wound. I, I will again clean it a clockwise or anti-clockwise manner with the uh, with the tissue forcep and the swabs. And after that, whenever I am done, then I will <clears throat> I will just take a uh, I will, as it is a dirty wound, and I will just take a gauze over a gauze, and it may be uh, alginate soaked gauze or maybe poviseb soaked. Uh, uh, soaked. I'll just put it there and give us uh, uh, only one a small suture if it is allowed or not. Or otherwise, according to the size, if it is a small size, we can keep it open. And uh, for this patient, I would like to prefer a single dose of uh, <coughs> and a single dose of antibiotic at the induction. And it is a, it is a uh, and as it is a 
contaminated wound, I will also prefer some uh, antibiotics for the patient post procedure. And after that, I'll just uh, tell, tell the patient that he would need to do, check the dressing after 24 hours, and uh, he may need daily dressing for this uh, for this wound. We are not going to close it. Whenever there is evidence that the, uh, the wound is getting uh, clean and there is no evidence of infection over there, it will heal spontaneously, or it may need secondary secondary closure. And after that, I'll prescribe some antibiotics, uh, like for three days, as it is a contaminated wound, and also some analgesics for the patient. And I will also advise him to look for certain uh, adverse effects. He have to look for that if there is any, uh, uh, if he gets any fever, any wound discharge, any redness around the wound, he should come immediately to his GP or to our hospital immediately to get a consultation. And after that, I will dispose. Uh, uh, I will dispose the sharp instrument in the syringe and everything uh, in the sharp bin. And I will also dispose my gowns, gloves, everything in a yellow bin uh, where uh, when it is proper area to uh, dispose. Then I will thank the patient. I'll just uh, face to my. Uh, I will thank the patient and uh, I'll ask the patient if he needs any kind of uh, <coughs> any kind of uh, help that in, at that moment. Yes, doctor, my... give me the post-operative instructions and follow-up advice. Yes, uh, after, uh, as you have uh, got this type of wound and I have uh, cleaned the wound and give you a dressing, you, you may need to check the dressing after 24 hours uh, that if there is any uh, color, uh, any pus or any fluids over there. And after that, uh, we'll go, um, we'll do that. Uh, will give you some painkillers and antibiotics. You have to take that uh, if there is any pain over there and take antibiotics for at least three days. Then uh, after, uh, you may need also check dressing every day until the wound gets healed. And uh, you have to check for some signs and symptoms that you should contact immediately if you get that signs and symptoms. And uh, after the, and uh, I think in that way, I'll complete my procedure and I'll just uh, document what I have done in the accident and emergency uh, in a proper documentation notes okay all right yeah. did you tell uh, the second visit all right uh, yes ma'am right. yes, yes okay all right tell the me 24 yes 24 to the second. and you had to check the status of tetanus because it's a contaminated wound all right can you yeah, please yeah. tell me what is the importance of debriding a necrotic wound Okay, <clears throat> debriding of necrotic wound, there may be certain importance like whenever there is a necrotic tissue, uh, there is increased chance of infection in that necrotic tissue as there is no blood supply, uh, body's immunity can't work. And if there is any evidence of foreign body over the necrotic tissue, it may cause certain granuloma or secondary, any kind of uh, severe infection and it may get also necrotizing fasciitis if, uh, if we don't debride it. What is necrotizing fasciitis? Uh, necrotizing fasciitis is a uh, 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 rapidly progressing necrotizing infection that yes. spreads along the fascial plane and the subcutaneous tissue. Actually, at first, the superficial uh, skin is not involved. It looks like normal erythema superficial skin infection. Only the fascial plane and the subcutaneous tissue is involved. But whenever there is lack of blood supply over the superficial tissue, that area also get necrosed in later stage. And it's rapidly progressing. Okay. Most common, what are the most commonly involved uh, organisms? Actually, ma'am, it uh, occurs with polymicrobial synergistic Very infection, good. most commonly group A streptococci, uh, staphylococci, E. coli, bacteria, fragilis, clostridium perfringens, sometimes pseudomonas, proteus, uh, how, how should it be managed? Okay, ma'am. At first, uh, well, the clinician should have high index of suspicion that the, it may be a case of nephrotizing fasciitis by seeing the superficial wound infection. So the gold standard for diagnosis is making a keyhole over the over the skin uh, uh, skin uh, incision and uh, over the skin and put a finger along the fascial plane. If the fascial plane it separates so easily from the subcutaneous tissue, so it may be diagnosed in that way. And we can also do. Uh, do some uh, laboratory escorting, that lineage escorting. So whenever it's confirmed, we have to go for extensive own debridement. And the patient may need subsequent dressing. And also we have to keep in mind uh, that uh, the own need to, uh, own care should be given uh, routinely. Yes. Early and regularly exploration of yes. further debridement. Very good. Okay, one last yeah. question. How would you differentiate yeah. between a necrotic and a viable tissue because here you have to do the debridement yeah. and wound is yes. wound is very dirty so how would you confirm 
Okay, there are certain components of the tissue yes. like the muscles. At first, the muscle the, it yes. looks uh, red, fleshy in case of viral uh, viral muscle, and yes. it is darkened and swollen, and uh, it's like uh, malar. It may get also malodorous in case of uh, uh, necrotic muscle, and in case of fat, it is yellowish uh, and uh, yellowish in color. But in case of necrotic fat, it may be darkened and uh, darkened, uh, dark, uh, more darkened color, and there will be no lack of blood supply. And in case of skin, it will look normal. Uh, <coughs> brownish or whitish color but in case of necrotic skin it will look dark, uh, it will also look blackish and uh, there will be presence of pipitus over there and over uh, we can also see cellulitis over there cellulitic infection and in case of uh, muscles uh, fats and uh, and also the mem fascial plane and fascial plane actually we also look for that fascia is easily separated from the subcutaneous tissue or not if it gets easily separated from the subcutaneous tissue then the fascial plane also get necrosed it is suspected good and all other tissues, they they do not bleed if they are necrotic. Do and not if bleed. they're viable, yes, they bleed. And uh, they'll, they'll be bleed. malodorous uh, if they yeah. necro necrotic and it will be insensate. Whereas yes. it will be sensate, yes. And there'll be no odor for viable tissue. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Anyone else want to give feedback? It was just a tetanus thing, uh, which in includes or involves one point because it's a dirty wound. Otherwise, you have covered everything because you have checked the, confirmed the identity of the patient. You have checked the marks and consent. You have checked yep. for the x-ray. You have even checked for the WHS checklist. And you have uh, chosen the appropriate equipment. You scrubbed or cleaned or prepared the wound or place. Oh, okay. One question, one point was for tourniquet that you have missed. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I have to give uh, right. it yes. As it is yes. in Thai, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then you remove the contaminants that you get points. Yeah. Thoroughly examines. You examine and inspected the wound. You got two points yes, for that. You identified the structures. You got two points for that. Uh, you adequately debrided the necrotic tissues. You got two points for that. You irrigated the wound appropriately. You got the mark for that. Dress the wound. Yes, you got the yeah. mark for that. You disposed of the sharp objects appropriately or adequately. Yes, you got the mark for that. You even uh, talked about the antibiotic. So you got the mark for that. So one mark you lost for indicating the need or to check for the status of tetanus, toxoid, and one for the tourniquet. So yeah. 18 out of 20. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Not bad. Okay, things we have discussed now, you'll remember. Them I went the through these time. things you know, like two to three months ago. And, yeah, and I know, I know, I know. Right? This is what uh, random means. Yeah, 